Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How are you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. Today, we're gonna attempt to put on the front headlight on the Easy Go. I'm gonna apologize ahead of time for the fan noise behind me, but I need a fan. It's hot today. It's so friggin' muggy in here, it's not even funny, so we gotta run a fan, unfortunately. You're gonna see some sweat coming down on this video. Oh my God, my knees. So, I'm gonna set you up down here, and as you can see, the first thing we need to work on is the mount. So the mount goes on here and up here, there's some holes, and there's a wing nut here that has to come out. So we're gonna get that wing nut out, and then we're gonna go from there. So we'll get out the hex head, nuts and bolts, and we're gonna put this bracket on, which is the bracket that holds the front bumper. So we're gonna start by putting them in these holes right here, which is all bent to dicks. So let's straighten that up, and we'll just get a bolt in there to start it. This thing's gonna need more than one bolt, of course. Here, look up here, would you? Oh. God, oh, we're gonna need a bolt in there too. And there's a bolt hole over there, it holds the top brackets in, which are right here. So how we're gonna do this is, I have no idea. The shock's in the way. Hot dick. And the holes are too friggin' small. What the, ow, what is going on? We're off to a really good start here. Can't tell what's going on in here. Just caught me right over. Why wouldn't you? So the holes are too small up there. So, so what we're gonna do, is we're gonna put the bracket on first. So we'll throw the bracket up here like this. Not like that, sorry. We'll throw the bracket up here like this. And we'll get the bolt started in her. There we go. There we go. Those are nowhere near it. Not even close, Captain. So that bracket up there doesn't fit where it's supposed to go. So you're gonna have to fabricate a new hole in there, which of course the body's in the way to do that. That is just amazing. So it's not a direct fit, unfortunately. I really don't want to take the friggin' front shell off this thing. There's no way to drill a hole up there without taking the shell off. Why would they do that? Frick! Come on, Jim. At least he could have made it so the bracket fits. That would have been nice for that kind of money. So I'll tell you right now, the deluxe kit is not a direct bolt-on. You'll have to do some fabricating, just so you know. Now, I'm not going to do much fabricating because my back isn't right yet. I'm not going to my back up doing this. So probably just stretch her out a little bit to get her lined up. No, not even close. I'm just talking going on right here and concentrate. There's one. There's two. So now that we get the bracket on, we'll put the headlight on and see if it's straight or if it's all dicked over. Well, this is not fancy. Oh, blue balls still look like an alien. Oh, dick. I'm gonna lose my shit by the time this is mounted. Yeah, you're gonna need an extra hand or something just to hold the thing so you get a cock sucking bolt mounted settle down now what a pain in the asshole this is is that decent you want me to hold it up for you holy <laughs> would i ever <laughs> where's that little screwdriver this is ridiculous man ah, joke i doing the first thing it's already frustrating me it doesn't take much to frustrate you at times you got that right who the is on that some guy get paid too much money that's who all right, now sometimes it's gonna lay back, relax, and just breathe. But this time we're just gonna go nice and calm and easy. Get the light where I can see. How is this so awkward to do? How'd you die of a heart attack? Oh, you know, laying under working on a golf cart. It was pretty decent. You need to hold up for you again? I'm getting her. Just had to calm the down. That's too much like work. Who are you talking about? It's mint. It always sounds worse than what it is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I don't understand, man. Now when you're doing this, just make sure you have lots of patience like I do, and you should be fine. Because you know what? I have all sorts of patience. You know that. Do you believe me? I wouldn't. So we're gonna have to pull the front tires off and get that top bar mounted, or this thing's gonna vibrate everywhere. So that's definitely gotta be done. So we'll do that and we jack her up and run the wire. So there we go. There's a front headlight on, and actually it looks pretty freaking cool. But, with the wheels clear. Yep, they sure do. I'm actually a pretty big fan of that. It looks pretty freaking cool, actually. There it does. That's decent. So now, we're gonna do the back ones. We're gonna install the, head, the tail light. Put your LED tail lights, and they come with it actually a template for the, t for the tail lights. It even says, ah. Now, it tells you to put in a certain spot, but I'm gonna put it where I want to put it because I want to cover up some marks it's got on this cart. So I figured if I do what I want to do, she'll be mint. What do you think? 
Leave your comments down below. Let me know if I'm going to dick it all over. I'm going to get my old lady here to draw me a line. She's all nervous already. I can hear her. When Pull comes, that when tree. it comes to you, yes. Trace that line. What color? I don't give a flying f color. Red pen work? No, use a marker. Sharpie? Whatever. No, inside line. Follow it. This is what you're going to be doing when retired in an old trailer park. You know that, right? This is helping me work on golf carts. How's that sound? It depends how frustrated you get. How's that look? Babe, that was a genius. Let's do this side while you're on a roll here. Everybody can watch this time. This That was decent. Hold on, get lined up first. Don't do anything yet. All right, hit it. There you go. Look at that. I did it. There's your marker if you want. Thank you very much. God, that was a lot easier to try and do that myself. Because I can't put tape on this golf cart because it's plexi coat. Now, what you want to do, if you have a plexi coated cart like I do, is you want to take a razor blade and follow that line again. Because if you don't, you'll pull the plexi coat off when you put a drill bit in there. All right, there we go. So now we can drill that out. Actually, there you go. Goes to show you, you can do it without screwing things up, you know? Making a little noise here, we're gonna go in here. There we are. You take a little bit more out of her, but where is the question? That's to say the bottom, Jim. A little bit more. Try that. Remember, it's always good to take little bits and big bits. Eh? Little chunks are better than big chunks. Here, tiny little one here. There it is. So these lights came with shitty chrome screws. I'm not into that. I want black screws in it. So I found some black screws. We're going to have to just slap them right in here. So I'll start with one here. One, two, three, four. There we go. Look at that. Captain, let's stand back here and look at it. It doesn't look straight, but it's straight. Trust me. It's the top part that's supposed to look straight. So she turned out good. I don't know why they didn't make this a little straighter to match the top, but they didn't. So it is what it is. But that's definitely the way the lights go, because that one doesn't go like that. There's no way in hell. Or it doesn't go like that either. So that's the only way it will go. So there you go. So now we can do number two. Who does number two work for? So we did the same thing on this one. We just slowly cut until it fit. Remember, always make the hole smaller than too big and you can always make it work, eh? So that's what I did on this one. It's the same idea as the other one. So there we go, in and mounted. Let's step back and have a look. See, you can't tell. One's out a little bit, but you can't tell. Just at the bottom of the bumper. See at the bottom of the bumper? Just a little tiny gap. She's freaking mint, Jim. Don't worry about it. But look at that. That's freaking decent. So now she's got taillights, Captain, which is great. Now she's gonna be legal. So now what we're gonna do, maybe, I gotta wait. I forgot to bring home some rivets from work. We get some rivets for this. So I can rivet that back on, but I forgot them. So what we're gonna do now is maybe get out, uh, we got another bar parcel in today. A bar parcel, it's in the back of the truck. We're gonna roll over there and maybe see if we can't mount it. So over here is the thing we got, which is a back seat. And actually there's quite a bit to it by the looks of it. I'll tell you one thing, it's pretty damn heavy. It is, but there's the brackets I needed, see? I should have just ordered this kit, took these brackets out and sent her back. That would have been a great idea, but I didn't. So we'll just unpack her right here and we'll see what we all got and see what there is to install in this bad boy. Probably too much. Holy, have an eye, Jim. Look at this thing. There's a lot to it, Cap. Hey, it's under here. More stuff. Oh my God, what happened? Oh, boy. look at that bad boy. Oh, dick. Oh, she might need some shots. Oh, I might need some instructions. Oh, there they are. I'm gonna have to look at instructions for the first time in my life. Oh, hey. So you do this, that, and that, and this, and the other friggin' thing, and it should be golden. So that's easy enough. He even comes with new roof supports. Oh, hey, have an eye. So where's the instructions? There isn't any. Instructions, remove the top doodad and whatnot of the seat doodad, and mount these thingamabobbers, probably. That sun's gotta go, it's hotter. Oh, hey. Obviously that's part of the front seat. We gotta figure this out here, we do. I have a feeling that those go on first. Yeah, I hate to say it, but these instructions really suck ass. So let's go take a look at this and see which way you think it might go. Does it go forward like this? Which I'm thinking, yeah, but I could be wrong. 
Let's get the other one to have a gander. And I'm pretty sure that this goes on this side, so you can't see the inside from the outside. Like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the way she goes, Captain. So we get that in. So let's go uh, have another look over here. See what part might come next. I'm thinking one of these parts. You know what? I might take a little break here and actually do a little bit of research on this thing because like I said, the instructions that come with it, not very good. I'm gonna work on the seat here and figure it out and hopefully something comes around of it. Other than that, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification on the tail light and front headlight installation. Rear headlights, piece of cake, just make your hole smaller than what it needs to be and then just trim a little bit more as you need it. You'll be golden. Front headlight, be prepared to get on your back and just get cocked right over. It went on and we're good. Hopefully you enjoyed it. See you on the next one. Love you all. And you know what to do for now.